There were tough days where we expected trucks to show up and they never showed up. Or we were expected trucks to show up with certain supplies and when we opened the door, they didn't have the supplies we needed. Hospitals across the country had to get creative this past year with the pandemic in order to keep up with demand for supplies and critical personal protective equipment. I toured the Intermountain Supply Chain facility to learn how they were able to keep up with demand over the past year that posed so many challenges to our healthcare heroes. Weathering the storm of the pandemic was no easy task for any healthcare facility, but this supply chain warehouse allowed Intermountain Healthcare to stay ahead of the challenges presented by COVID-19. A unique facility that serves as a hub for supplies needed by everyday healthcare workers. John Wright is vice president of Intermountain Healthcare's supply chain and support services. He says this facility is where Intermountain's two dozen hospitals and more than 200 clinics spanning three states get their supplies. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, I would say we started off uh, really operating with a lot of unknowns, right? Nobody could tell us what demand was going to be. We really didn't know what patient volumes were going to be. Even with the unknowns of the pandemic, Wright says the supply chain warehouse was already stocked with critical personal protective equipment, such as masks, gloves, gowns, and more. We carry on average about 45 days of inventory here. So, and uh, for much of the pandemic supplies, those PPE items we talked about, those we carry roughly about 60 to 70 days. So we really had a buffer in the beginning to react appropriately to the situation because we knew we had the inventory available to meet the needs of the organization. The warehouse fills more than 12,000 orders per day. Wright says at the beginning of the pandemic, they were flooded by vendors to purchase products, many of them scams, with no real product to share in the first place. In the end, frankly, most of those did not pan out. Either the products really weren't available or the products didn't meet our specifications. Previous significant world events also prepared Intermountain for what could be to come, something like a pandemic. What helped contribute to our success was previous examples of challenges. So the H1N1 uh, situation in 2009, as well as our Ebola preparation work, um, even what we lessons we learned from Hurricane Maria when that struck Puerto Rico, how that influenced our supply chain here in Utah. With no major lapses in supplies for healthcare workers, those with Intermountain Supply Chain said that they couldn't have been this successful without some real generous community members donating supplies for masks and face shields. In turn, they were able to help out other hospitals when they needed it the most, and they also donated to local municipalities, first responders, as well as the Navajo Nation.